something so special about <laughs> dogs. And I know, Paul, you wholeheartedly agree. Yes, having <laughs> two of our own, two rescues. And actually, our Maria Medina just posted a video on Twitter that you should check out of her dog waiting for one of her neighbors to drive by in his wheelchair. And the dog just kind of patiently waiting to go out and say hi. So just a little something to brighten up your Wednesday evening. Let's take a look if the weather's going to do the same. It's breezy out there this evening. No real change there from the last few days. And like the past few nights, once the wind calms down, the fog is going to spread out at least low cloud cover, even if it's not full-fledged fog in your location. Gradual warm-up is going to start to kick in tomorrow, but it's going to be more noticeable by the weekend with back to normal temperatures. And then an inland heat wave is going to be building in by the latter half of next week. More on that in just a second. First, let's take a look at those wind gusts for this evening. Still 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts a couple hours from now, but those are going to start to diminish after the sun goes down. Down, noticeable by 11 o'clock that diminishing trend will continue after midnight into the early hours tomorrow morning and while the wind is going to pick back up it's not going to be as strong tomorrow mostly 10 to 15 mile an hour gusts on the map by noon with mostly 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts during the afternoon and early evening still an onshore breeze so we are going to see a temperature spread across the bay area inland portions of the bay area are going to start to warm up just a little bit more today's high temperatures only reached up into the low 70s in concord and fairfield those were the warm spots on the map. Upper 60s in San Jose, barely above 60 degrees in San Francisco and Half Moon Bay. Not much variation at all. For early June, when so often we see a 35 to 40 degree difference in those highs, only 11 degrees from San Francisco to Fairfield this afternoon. And right now, just a 10 degree difference from Half Moon Bay at 59 to 69 degrees in Fairfield. And it is breezy, so a light jacket if you're going to be heading out to walk to your pups this evening. We'll have the dog walking forecast specifically coming up at 6 o'clock. Temperatures tonight drop down to around 50 degrees. A mix of upper 40s and low 50s for most of us. And then temperatures tomorrow are going to try to warm up. It will top out right about where we did today in the city. 61 degrees in San Francisco with the winds strengthening during the afternoon. Temperatures dropping off by late afternoon and early evening. Santa Rosa will crack 70 degrees tomorrow. Today's high was only 69 degrees. We should be to that level by about 2 o'clock with a high of 71. And then Concord reaching up into the mid 70s. So slowly building. Still below average across the board for high temperatures tomorrow. But a little bit of progress closer to what's normal for this time of year with highs returning to the low 70s in San Jose. Let's fill in the rest of the map. Temperatures in the 50s along the coast, low to mid 60s around the bay with mostly low 70s farther inland. The warmest spots east of the Diablo range reaching into the upper 70s. Back up to normal temperatures over the weekend, which means mid to upper 60s and low 70s around the bay with mostly 80s farther inland. That normal temperature pattern is temporary. It's going to stick around Monday, Tuesday of next week, but then as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, this heat dome is going to take over. Now it's going to be positioned a little differently than what we usually see later in the summer where it's kind of anchored just off the coast. This one's going to be inland, which means along the coast, you're still going to feel that onshore influence. So temperatures around the bay and along the coast aren't going to be exceptionally above normal, but it is going to be hot inland, especially by Thursday of next week, near triple-digit temperatures looking at least possible, maybe even trending towards likely. But it looks like it should be a brief heat wave. We'll keep it updated on that as we get through the weekend into next week. In the short term, just a slow climb towards those normal temperatures by Saturday and Sunday and remaining pretty close to average Monday before the warm-up begins to accelerate Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, we'll have that dog walking forecast coming up at 6 o'clock. All right, look forward to that. Thank you, Paul.